Hello guys, this is Jan from CrossCloud and this tutorial is gonna be about background menu. As the name suggests, in this menu you can set a 3D scene's background. You can choose from a single color, image background or panoramic background, also called skybox. Let's start with the solid color. To set the background to solid color, you can either click on the color picker, paste in a hex color code or define RGB elements. You can even make the background fully or partially transparent by setting the alpha value. It's very handy if you want to embed the viewer to a web page and you want to have a transparent background so users will see the background of the web page behind the 3D scene. Ok, solid color is pretty easy, I would say, so move along. Image background. You can either choose from cross-cloud built-in images or you can upload your own image. We didn't upload any image yet, so let's change that and click on upload new image. Here you can change the image name, but as we don't need to, we can directly save it. Ok, it's there and we can choose it for our background. And that's it for image background. Let's move to panoramic backgrounds. As for images, you can choose from cross-cloud built-in panoramas or you can use your own. If you have already uploaded any panoramic scene, you will see it grouped by folders here. And you can use them as a pano background for any 3D scene. Here you can see the panoramic scene we uploaded before for our panoramic point of interest in the previous tutorial. We can use it, but let's try to upload a brand new panoramic image. We can do that by this button. It will create a new panoramic scene in the folder selected in this folder tree view. Just keep in mind that panoramic image used as a background for a 3D scene should keep its resolution to 4K at most to avoid memory problems on low power devices. 8K panoramas are cool for panoramic scenes but avoid to use them as a backgrounds for 3D scenes. Ok, let's pick our new panoramic background image. Here you can change the panorama's name but we are ok with just a file name. Ok, our new panoramic scene is there and we can use it as a background pano. But to be honest, I don't like it. And let's go back for the built-in panels. This one is definitely much better for our scene. One last word to the backgrounds. Panoramic backgrounds are great for cameras with a wide field of view, let's say from 50 degrees up. This field of view is great for buildings and outdoor in general. But if we lower the field of view to something like that, the background now doesn't look good at all, right? The problem is that cameras with narrow field of view capture only a very small part of the background and makes the background very pixelated as you can see. But there is a lot of scenes where you will need a camera with narrow field of view, for example products and smaller items in general. Let's jump to another scene for a second. This is a product 3D scene. Narrow camera looks better here as it gives smaller distortion. And product, a boot in this case, looks more natural. But as you can see, the panel background doesn't look really good and you can see even single pixels out there. If we make the camera wider, you can see that the product looks very distorted now. And when we rotate the camera, it just looks weird. So what's the point you say? Of course it's up to you and your personal taste, but our recommendation is to use image or solid color backgrounds with cameras with small, narrow field of view and panel backgrounds with wide cameras. That's it for the background menu. If you have any question, write down a comment or shoot us a message on our contact page. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.